Hello and welcome back. It's time for another brief uh, interlude uh, update here. Um, well, we have uh, set our sights on Cambria, I think, uh, because um, armor is a little bit uh, too tough for us right now in terms of equipment, even with the uh, little upgrades I uh, gave our mercs here. I will show you in a moment, uh, but um, well, let's start at the top, and this would be the fact that everyone uh, will be on deck for this operation, even Ruben, believe it or not. Uh, well, as he doesn't have anything better to do right now, all the items are moved to our uh, base of operations here, except for the Shinsina stuff. Well, but he cannot get through with the ice cream truck because, well, this mine's uh, occupied again. Uh, I'm not sure why the mobile militia hasn't wiped out this uh, small, uh, yeah. Guard here, I don't know why they should have uh, made that happen already. As you can see, they are allowed to path through here, so I'm not sure. Well, it's up to us then, and not a problem. Only six guys, and I'm pretty certain I remember where their spawn points are, so uh, yeah. Um, about the equipment, well, I, I promise to show you these, uh, these two uh, goodies here that the tourists uh, sent you after the US escort them out of the country. Well, we do have this uh, here, these two Automac free pistols, uh, or you can uh, certainly call this a hand cannon. And well, these were originally chambered in 30 carbine, they might actually be more useful, or would be more useful that way to us, but well. Uh, these are custom uh, custom modified for 50 B Wolf, which uh, I'm not sure what this is uh, derived from, I would have to look it up, but basically there are only two, uh, two firearms in the entire game which uh, are chambered for this cartridge, these custom pistols and the Alexander Arms uh, rifle, semi-automatic based on the uh, uh, AR-15 uh, platform. This is a uh, late game stuff, so I'm um, not sure uh, if you even get to use this or not, uh, we have about I think it's yeah, 16 uh, bullets in total for this uh, for these things and those that wise they have um, well, 1.3 kilogram for one pistol well it is a large pistol so it's not overly uh, hefty in terms of weight uh, at least compared to the desert eagles and well, accuracy damage uh, they are through the roof uh, range is also up there for a uh, pistol yeah uh, well the problem with these is uh, the high action point cost for one shot and so it's best left to a gunslinger, but uh, we don't have any, and even if we did, I'm not sure I would give them these things as a sidearm, uh, except as a nice toy, yeah, just to play around with, but we have no access to this ammunition yet. Um, well, it will have to do uh, with something we have to maybe pick up later. Uh, also, uh, our stockpile of guns has been diminished quite, by quite a bit. I sold every single gun we have no pressing need for. I only kept uh, some decent sidearms here, the Mac uh, 10 um, with the rate reducer well, and the uh, Remington 870, they're just in temporary storage here, as soon as we could, uh, we, another Merc they will uh, be reassigned. It's just uh, it's just a result of uh, my little inventory sh shuffling here, let's uh, take a look at this real quick. It's worthy of discussion. Yeah, this is Squad 1, they are going to clean out this road, I think there are, uh, there are two stationary patrols and one uh, roaming or something like this, well, they can probably handle this on their own, that should be fine, if not we can retreat them, I hope, but it should be a fair fight even if we are outnumbered 2 to 1, yeah, that's just how these things go, it's, uh, in Jagged Alliance, unless they get a drop on you and you are caught with your pants down, so to speak, well, not with these guys, I don't think this will be an issue, uh, Ira and Razor have the same stuff as before, I thought about uh, giving him a silenced long arm finally, but it's still a decent performer for the time being, so I just left it as is. Uh, Haywire, uh, on the other hand, I was not satisfied uh, with the RPD, not at all. Uh, also in this uh, one battle I uh, concluded off screen, the accuracy was just dreadful and overall it wasn't uh, anything right home about, so we are trying a different approach here. Um, yeah, this AKS-74 uh, we found at the same site with matching ammunition and the scope, even though this is not the PS1 scope, uh, I just left it in the sector and gave him the better one. Uh, this is uh, it's less restrictive in terms of uh, peripheral vision, so a muzzle, muzzle brake and the bipod to improve accuracy firing from the bone position. Well, I, re I reviewed some of the footage and it would appear that most of our shots uh, were made in the prone position anyway to take uh, advantage of our uh, overall pretty decent camouflage situation, so a bipod makes perfectly sense for him, uh, you know. 
So that should uh, work out a little better than the RPD, I hope. Well, we will see about that. Uh, would also like to have some more uh, of these uh, camo uh, attachments for our helmets and vests, but uh, they, they are, they, these are only available from Kiev and uh, in Berlin. Well, we can't get there yet to the vendors, I mean, but uh, Cambria should uh, something we clear out very next, so another problem taken care of, I hope. Again, I just could have ordered them from Bobby Race, but I'd rather live off the land in this campaign. Yeah, Dimitri has a new shotgun because it is uh, more accurate by five points. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, this past 15 has served us very well. Uh, but I. Yeah, it is sold it uh, because yeah, our daily expenses get up and up. Uh, not that I have recruited new uh, militia, but those uh, that we have already, well, some of them have received uh, promotions after out of uh, battles with the enemy. And veteran and especially elite militias, well, they are quite a bit more expensive than those uh, green guys. So this does up, uh, add up over time, so just a little bit of a reserve here, we're all over 50,000, but uh, we couldn't even extend everyone's contract by two weeks, uh, just with 50,000 alone, I think it would be, yeah, I don't think that would be enough, <laughs> yeah, and then we, we would still have to uh, pay the militia and everything, so yeah, we need uh, another mine, and Cambria looks like a juicy target uh, for this purpose, yeah. Okay, what else here? Yeah, um, this uh, silence pistol, if you recall, was uh, on Carlos previously. Well, he does have a silenced SMG now, so uh, yeah. Now we could just uh, give this uh, to him, or pass this to him, and now we have a few people available with silenced firearms. That's excellent, so we can just uh, assign squads as we need it, uh, as we need for, um, of the, for the more stealthy operations, and maybe. Uh, yeah, avoid some direct confrontations, at least uh, with on the enemies a little bit in the city sectors. Yeah, that would be great. I think that should uh, work out uh, fine, well, at least uh, in theory. Uh, Beth has the same stuff as before uh, and same as with Miguel. Okay, uh, Ruben, well, I, uh, well, since he <laughs> will finally see some combat here, I just gave him some stuff he had laying around or uh, saved up for this moment, uh, this SVT-40. I think the only item I bought in this entire loadout is this uh, free time scope because this, uh, yeah, low marksmanship uh, coupled with low wisdom and dexterity doesn't make for a uh, great base chance to hit. Yeah, so you can, he, he, he needs all the help he can get. Uh, we had a flag jacket, a spare flag jacket, I mean, and some helmet. Uh, doesn't really matter. This item, just in case, uh, he has to draw it here because this is very slow to fire. Some grenades, uh, strength isn't terrible, and yeah, a knife, he does have the melee trade, but uh, to be honest, uh, melee and hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game is pretty, uh, pretty lack lackluster trade overall, uh, very situational, well, if you can snag up on an enemy, you can take them out instantly and silently with these uh, knives, at least uh, for the guys who are proficient in, uh, or trained in them, yeah, but it's often way too risky. They just uh, hear you uh, sticking up to them, or, uh, I mean attempting to, and then they will just turn around, get an interrupt and blast you in the face. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, doing daytime, you, as you have s uh, seen multiple times, uh, it just isn't really possible uh, to sneak. I don't know what's up with that uh, discrepancy between night and daytime uh, in hearing range, I mean. Uh, yeah, doing daytime, sneaking around with knives, it doesn't work nearly as well as, doing, uh, as after sundown. Uh, yeah, maybe if we do want to uh, take our knife hitting guys into combat and focus on this uh, just for fun or practice, uh, yeah, for uh, for showing of this uh, feature how it can be, uh, how it can work out in practice. So maybe um, we should stick uh, to night attacks only then, only carry guns uh, as contingency plan. That could uh, it could make for a fun episode. I, f I think yeah, maybe uh, I'll, I'll consider it. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, this. Uh, six guy, uh, six uh, person guard here. We can just take out the three per uh, people here. Uh, Ruben, Scream, and Carlos. That should be no problem whatsoever. Yeah, this is uh, Carlos. Uh, Carlos's new silent submachine gun. Uh, this is uh, 45 ACP, as I've mentioned before, is naturally subsonic, so we don't have to worry about any code loaded ammo. And uh, 12. Uh, 12 uh, points in terms of noisiness. It's very good for for a, for a makeshift solution like this. Uh, configuration here and this is fairly accurate as well uh, I mean for a submachine gun at uh, closer ranges there are of course more, uh, more accurate uh, guns in this uh, class if you want to uh, need medium range uh, 
for medium range fighting, but he, there's no need for him. Uh, he's the point man, or has become of them. And that's why I gave the Springfield uh, 1903 to Hamus. Because, uh, well, Carlos needs something uh, handier and faster to fire when he's uh, up front and scouting and uh, stumbling upon the enemy and a boat action rifle. Maybe we could have put a two time scope on it. Uh, to get rid of these uh, penalties from the 5.5 times magnification one, but uh, yeah, that's uh, not an ideal solution at, uh, to say the least. I mean, both action rifle and everything like this, yeah. So now he just has a revolver pad still here, Kof Python with some uh, HPS ammo and some matches. Yeah, yeah this should be decent. Um, yeah, Hamus and Flo, uh, they are still resting, but once they're up, we will uh, reform uh, this group and uh, finally get rid of some other nuisances here in our backyard. I mean, the backyard of uh, Shitsina, the some side finally, for instance, even though the Queen does uh, had it reinforced, it was 10 originally. Now it's up to, but it's 20. Uh, excuse me. How many? Yeah, 20 and it would have uh, to be a frontal assault, so that's, uh, let's not dismiss the difficulty of this uh, attack here. Even though it is the starting sector, so uh, one of the starting sectors to be honest. Shitsina is really... Uh, yeah, I think I've explained this uh, at one point. Uh, the further you, uh, you're away from Meduna, the lower the enemy uh, uh, item progression becomes. That's why we were most of the guys in, uh, up in Shitsina here had uh, very basic equipment, even... Uh, Kunis uh, 1 or enemy item progression 0 even. Wow. I mean, uh, probably a little tougher uh, at this point in time since we do, uh, since we did progress in the game. Yeah, but I don't expect them to have uh, top notch uh, equipment or anything like this. We should still watch out. Uh, I mean, some some of the people here are, are fairly green and experienced, so not that uh, combat effective, but uh, for me, you know. Flow, uh, flow's track record, uh, even in real time battles, have been uh, pretty good so far. And yeah, I think uh, we should take this, we should be able to take this over and, uh, the same side and then wipe out this other patrol, no problem at all. And uh, we may not even uh, have to train any militia here, because the mobile militia has been keeping this road clear of reinforcements. So that's uh, nice of them. Yeah, uh, something else I wanted to mention, uh, Spec has, uh, written us several emails informing, uh, informing uh, us of new, uh, we, uh, excuse me, of new uh, recruits, uh, available for hire, so let's uh, take a look at them real quick, I think it's, uh, worthy of a brief discussion here, uh, yeah, this, all of these we have seen before, uh, this, yeah, I think, yeah, Baba is a new one, um, is a bodybuilder, also very strong and very healthy, uh, but his other f his traits are not as great. Uh, agility is uh, lackluster, to say the least, so he doesn't have uh, a large action point pool to draw from. Uh, wisdom is atrocious. I think it's the worst in the game even, uh, so he's really mentally challenged uh, and handicapped in other ways as well, because, well, marksmanship is quite good actually. Uh, yeah, you have... Um, Made dexterity, but good marksmanship, and you couple that with wisdom. Well, the wisdom stat uh, is, doesn't matter for uh, well all the uh, actions with which uh, only require strength or uh, yeah health checks or something. It doesn't really matter. Then if you're prying open the door or punching someone in the face, you can be the dumbest person in the world. It doesn't matter. But every other uh, assignment you could undertake, like uh, training or teaching. Or um, spotting explosives, uh, untrapping doors, and all this stuff uh, takes the wisdom stat into account. Well, and his is so bad, really, that he is uh, pretty. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, he has a hard time of doing any of this. And 600 bucks per day. This is not cheap, uh, especially for an MIRC merc. So I don't think we'll be hiring him. We have uh, two other bodybuilders on our team already, and also many other. Uh, Mercs, they really don't like him. He, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I would have to check the relationship uh, overview I made for myself somewhere, but uh, yeah, I don't think uh, this would be a good addition to our team. There he is, the guy with the uh, re re regression here in terms of uh, stat progression I once mentioned. Um, well, we already have Beth on our team, so we don't need another uh, medic for the time being, but. 
Well, as you can see here, uh, he is uh, very good with medicals and explosives could actually be an um, explosive expert we do have need for. I did give uh, one uh, one stick of DNT with a basic detonator to Haywire because he has 30 something explosive skill. And a C1 package or a C4 with a remote detonator to Gary since uh, yeah, he is our uh, second highest, or actually our highest in terms of explosive skill. Uh, 30 isn't much, but it allows you to safely plant bombs, so don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, we don't have to uh, concern ourselves with Haywire's well-being if he attempts to do that, it's okay. Yeah, Explosive Expert could be good, especially uh, once we set our sight on uh, Alma. We definitely do want to have some explosive skills there. Yeah, um, well... Overall, he's actually quite good, but the problem is, yeah, you leave uh, medical supplies in his inventory or booths. Well, he will, uh, well, he does have a problem with substance abuse still, despite his uh, multiple attempts here to overcome this, uh, well, this trait. But it just doesn't happen, and if you don't uh, keep him busy, like constantly with uh, training assignments or something else, well, he will just, uh, uh, well, use these uh, supplies well for his. Uh, for his other gains, you know, and it's really not good, and in his drunk state he's completely useless, so... Yeah, uh, you really have to micromanage this guy if you want to use him. It's uh, doable, but annoying. Uh, well, and there's certainly no uh, shortage of uh, medical personnel in the game. Either recruitable or NPCs here, I mean, uh, in, uh, in Aruko directly, so, yeah. Oh, but it is, I think it's a pretty unique uh, combination of high medical and explosive skill, so maybe it's something uh, to reconsider. I might do that. Uh, Numb is a hand-to-hand -hand, uh, specialist. And his other stats are really good as well, especially physical and marksmanship. But the problem with him, him is that, uh, well, like it says here, that, uh, yeah, a bad case of visual, of, of visual offensiveness where many mercs uh, simply don't ca is, cannot stand the sight of him so it is uh, somewhat uh, challenging to uh, form a squad around him that you know where people don't complain all the time and uh, fall on the hammer and go home yeah uh, I'm not sure if this is really worth the, the hassle to be honest text is someone uh, I have put on the to-do list to, uh, yeah he is a gunslinger with very high marksmanship uh, so he would be a prime candidate for pistols and our submachine guns especially. Can't really complain here except for wisdom. Uh, pricey, a little bit pricey, but oh, maybe if we take another, if we take over another mine or two, well, we could afford this probably. Yeah, let's uh, think about that. And last but not least, for the time being, it's Mr. Biggins here, an explosive expert, also with good mechanical skill. Well, he's an old man, he is uh, weak and slow. So, uh, you can't really load him down with all the uh, explosives uh, you need. I mean, you ideally want to carry this uh, all on the same person. I mean, you can pass stuff around and such, but... Well, it's a little bit of micromanagement. Uh, not sure I want to do this really. Experience level is also very good. Uh, probably a veteran of many campaigns. Yeah, like it says here. Gorilla Warfare in Southeast Asia. Well, poor guy. Must have been pretty horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, it's an option. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, another uh, brief thing here, yes, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, I bought some uh, 40mm grenades here for this uh, wonderful M79 uh, device we fo also found at the Dresden Sam site. These are really pricey here, I think it's like uh, 3000 bucks in total just for these uh, handful of uh, grenades from Devin. But they are worth their weight in gold, to be honest, we didn't have to repair them, yeah. And this is a nice selection, we have high explosive here, flashbangs. Illumination, smoke, and incendiary. The only thing missing here is tear gas and master gas, and uh, some of. I think there is a uh, thermobatic or whatever it was uh, spelled. I'm sorry, I can't remember. This basically uh, an HE grenade with, with a much uh, higher uh, area of effect. This is, the, I think, uh, Kunis 9 or something like this. Uh, they cost like 2,500 2, per grenade, so uh, yeah, let's not worry about that. I gave him uh, this uh, submachine gun here with a laser sight on it. Uh, this primary fire, um, actually, this would be his primary firearm once we have a steady supply of grenades, I think. But yeah, it's pretty decent. It's light and fairly accurate, and especially with, with the muzzle brake on here, low recoil, low recoil, should be no problem for him. And yeah, we also handed out the uh, second, uh, the second uh, light detector we had somewhere. I think also we found this at the. Uh, 
Sam's side, yeah, I think I gave it to Scream because he had the weight capacity to spare, but only just, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Um, it should, uh, should have brought you up to speed so we can have a little fun here and take over the mines, uh, this abandoned mine again, maybe. There's another uh, drop, or for, drop or two for us in stock, and then we can just uh, sell the stuff here at Tony and then make our way to the Sam side. Yeah, I think that uh, is a solid course of action here. I'm anxious to see uh, how Ruben performs the battle. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, but uh, Wisdom, uh, yeah, probably uh, gonna be uh, quite a few misses, but yeah, what can you do? Our military force is present. Yep, and it's just daytime, which is exactly as planned. Uh, I didn't want to take him in the night, obviously, but we could have done it with Carlos. He's proficient to... Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't have the night ops trait per se, but he is stealthy and uh, scouting. Uh, yeah, he also has a silenced firearm. Uh, one of the battles I did off screen, we took out uh, nine guys just with Carlos and Miguel, basically. Uh, Miguel for his night ops trait and his uh, night vision scope. And Carlos for his uh, vision range with the binoculars and the silence pistol. I mean, before I reshuffle the inventory, now he doesn't uh, need the silence pistol, of course. Yeah. With his, uh, with his uh, silenced SMG, sorry. Okay, a scream uh, has to provide the squad leader bonuses, and since there are only three guys here with, with us, it uh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this approach is uh, pointless, there are no patrols here. Yeah. There are two stationary guys in this building, one, uh, one guy patrolling here, uh, one up front, uh, one here, and then probably another one here in this courtyard area, so... We can probably lure out three of them, uh, just, by uh, just by firing off a couple of bullets, and then someone else can just go in, probably Ruben or something, and take these guys out. Shouldn't be a problem, yeah. So, Scream can spot, uh, Carlos can sneak and spot, and Ruben just stays with Scream, okay, that's... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, ah, of course, I didn't have the correct mark selected. I think we also cut a hole in the fence last time we went here. So Carlos can probably just uh, do some sneaking. That's fine. On his own. Should be should be safe, to be honest. Yes, uh, Ruben, please stick with the screen. It would be slow. And then we should not see any combat up to this point or something like this. It's okay. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, yeah, I gave him the Glock Block 18 for now. Because, well, when you have an SMG as your primary arm, you don't need a machine pistol as a secondary. I mean, a full blown submachine gun. Uh, sorry, uh, my brain is scrambled a little bit. You don't need a Mac 10 or something like this. Uh, you know, a large, in a really huge machine pistol as a secondary. That doesn't make much sense, to be honest. But, yeah. But since he does have the auto weapon trade, I gave him a Glock 18 instead of the 17. So if he does have to fire. Full auto with his side army can, but it's probably not going to be particularly accurate without the stock. There's a stock attachment for this. Yeah. Uh, depending on the price, I might just pick up one. But yeah, the next time we uh, go for Simona, I think Tony has the has them in stock on a regular basis. Yes. Okay, let's get going then. Uh, yeah, screen can just roll up here. Ruben is not a stealthy See. guy, so. So what? Yeah, so what? Uh, get, uh, yeah, he always wants to kill. Every time he arrives in a sector, he just okay, uh, okay. He just asks when it is killing time. See? So I think Carlos should stick with the other two, uh, at least until we've taken out one or two guys up here, and then he can just uh, go and sneak over there on his own for the hole in defense. I think it's yeah, it's right there. It's, it should be it should be no problem. Yes. Again, I won't take you all the way here for sneaking through the back door. That's, uh, yeah, we just uh, see some shooting and maybe Uber can even take, uh, can even connect one or two shots. And then I will quickly pause the recording or something or just wrap it up entirely. Yeah, it's just so a little bit of fun here to see how uh, Uber performs. Armies of enemies show their face! Yeah, that's one of the stationary guys up front in the uh, Watchman's House or whatever you call it uh, in English. Okay, uh, yeah, just the spike line of sight doesn't really matter at the moment. Did we want real time sneaking, please. This party isn't over yet. Mm -hmm. So, what? Actually, uh, it just occurred to me that, uh, yeah. We used them as his pack, as, as our pack move before we got the truck, and it was enough to raise his uh, strength by what I. 
almost 10 points or something like this, if I recall correctly. Let's check real quick. Uh, where are you? Yeah, 7 points. Just uh, just for carrying items back and forth. A physical exercise in this game is a good See? way to trade up strength and health. Yes. Like you don't always want to take the uh, truck if you don't have to. Or the helicopter even. If you have, okay. you, you have the time to spare, so you can what? do can do some uh, walking around. It's okay. Cheap way uh, to improve uh, strength or health. Uh, health you cannot train at all, and strength uh, goes up very quickly, b uh, very slowly by just uh, by just a training assignment. Yes. So little tip here is uh, it uh, races even higher if you over in combat, but then of course you cannot make long See? tracks at all because of the uh, rapid stamina drain. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I'm not usually that uh, deep into grinding, to be honest. It, well, we just walk around so when we have what? to, and that works for us, you know, in terms of getting our stats up, physical exercise, and all this. Yes. That's not very too much about the game mechanics. It can become a little uh, gamey, and it's uh, not that enjoyable for me. So what? Probably heard you already, Ruben. Because you are so, so unstealthy. Yeah, the 52. Okay, we can see him because he yes. is crouched, most likely because he heard Ruben. Okay, that's to be expected. Yeah, and then you stay just see. in case until we've taken this one guy out there. My trigger yeah. fingers itchy. Oh, actually, he, oh, you just can't so see him what? because uh, okay, it's a red tire. Uh, maybe if we were to crawl forward one tire, then look for the scope again. Okay, uh, let's do, do it next turn once. Uh, yeah, again, <laughs> low action pool, uh, action, low pool of action points because yeah, 52. It's not. Uh, yes. It's just not a uh, stellar. Let's put it that way. Yes. Okay, quick save, and then let's see here. So what? The accuracy here is. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, it's much better than I had expected. Uh, must be of the scope. Uh, if we didn't have the scope here, yeah, that would be. And we are prone, it helps a lot. I think I playtested a little bit with Baba just to see what uh, kind of impact his uh, overall uh, dim witness would have. Yeah, and from the uh, crouch position, even with an uh, accurate rifle, but uh, uh, lacking any attachment that is, I think it was an Envoy Garant even. He couldn't get uh, the accuracy cursor halfway between this and the other one here, so uh, just imagine it's 50% larger. No matter uh, how many action points he spent on aiming. Didn't make any difference whatsoever, so yeah. Okay, that should be good enough, I guess. Uh, let's see uh, if you can make a count. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> yeah, of course, he's also meticulous, so. A groin shot is very first shot he took in the entire campaign, even though he has been with us, I think, over 20 days. Uh, can you see? The yeah, nine, almost 20 days, and this was his very first shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's funny. I uh, to mean and me. Okay. So what? Time for sneaking yes. is See. over. Uh, actually, we don't need you over here. You can get moving Understood. right away. See. Understood. Oh, he's bleeding out from a groin shot. Uh, that must be very painful to say the least. At least I would imagine so. Oh, oh, poor, poor fellow. So what? I would love to put him out of his out of his misery already. I speed at you. <laughs> this guy yes. is just a psychopath. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, all of all, all of uh, all of his voice lines are in the same vein. Really, this guy is a maniac. See. Oh, yeah, I think there's one patrol back here. Yeah, I think yeah. But it's fine. You have a silence SMG now. Should <laughs> we should wipe the floor with them? To be honest, but let's not get too cocky. Yes. Can we see anything yet? Well, well like I said, when, when we don't find any more so contact what? pretty soon, I will just end the episode yes. because, well, it's not that. It's just a little fun thing for me, uh, more than anything else. I just wanted to uh, see Ruben in combat uh, at least once. See okay. how he performs, uh, at least for these initial shots. Of course, we will see him again at the same side. He does, again, he doesn't have anything better to do, or we don't immediately. Uh, yeah, well, there's no urgent need to move the stuff on Shinzina to dress it in a truck. Is no okay. Point. Again, this wow scouting trade Armies and, of enemy and show quality their binoculars—they are a really a powerful combination, as you can see. I mean, 
Wow, this is uh, probably the best uh, peripheral vision and, uh, well, uh, yeah, the best combination of uh, visual range and peripheral vision you can get in the game, I would imagine. Yeah. Wow. So what? But at this point, is uh, we would have to get call him over here just to take a shot, so let's not bother this, uh, with this at the moment. Yeah. Well, I, I think there was a lot of information to process in this uh, little episode here, so, um... Yeah, once again, uh, thanks for watching, and in case there isn't a little addendum here, uh, I will see you next time when we make our move on the Sam side, with, with Ruben and Toe, of course, and then, yeah, uh, take care of this other patrol, then, uh, right after that. Yeah, it should be one episode probably, it's only ten guys on what I can see here, so, yeah. Uh, see you next time. Well, uh, a little addendum after all here, um... Clean this out, no problem as expected, and that's uh, one level of experience for Ruben, which is actually not that great because I now have to pay him more. Now, it, may, it should only be 10 bucks uh, per day or something like this. Well, we, I think we can stomach that. And that's two kills for him on his very first outing, so good job, Ruben, I guess. <laughs> Hit percentage, of course, wasn't so great as is to be expected, and in terms of loot, well. Uh, found another uh, another M1 Garant is a drop, which is good. We don't have another need, really. I don't think so, but... Well, it's uh, worth selling. I think it's uh, 2,000 something bucks. Uh, this, these pistols are fairly basic. Uh, also in terms of uh, resale value, but... Uh, it's always welcome in this ammo. We can just uh, convert right away for Ruben here. Yeah. Uh, it's also match ammo, yep. Okay, that makes one magazine, fantastic, and then we have, uh, then we match this one, and voila, left. We fill this here, uh, again, uh, this other stuff is owned, unfortunately, by Kingpin, if uh, memory serves, so, even though, especially these uh, remote detonators here, and these uh, HMX, they, well, I would very much uh, like to take them, but we cannot, I don't want to, uh, no. well, destroy our relations with Kingpin and uh, well this would result in all uh, Kingpin NPCs becoming hostile to us the entire surveying group yeah that's uh, this uh, is not something we want yeah well that's it for the addendum and uh, see you next time